In this video, I want to walk people through some things that might not be evident uh, that pertain to hypercubes. Basically, I'm going to show you a multiple hypercube structures and contrast the structures. Um, so there are six uh, hypercube structures that I'm going to show you. The meaning of the information is the same in every one of the six hypercubes. The meaning is exactly the same. Um, number five and number six add more information, but uh, it doesn't change the base information. So I'll explain all. This. I'll explain this to you as we go along here. So I'm going to start. Here is an implied hypercube, and the term table. Uh, and hypercube are synonyms um, as I'm using them. So here you see a structure, an information structure. Uh, it's represented um, within a network. You can see the network right here. And there is no table, no hypercube. So that's what this means. So in XBRL, uh, whether they're physically exists an explicit hypercube or not um, everything exi exists within uh, a hypercube so um, this is an implied hypercube it has no name um, because it's implied there's physically one there um, but anyway so here is another information structure it's exactly the same as the first except it has an explicit hypercube defined um, and the important thing to know here is that because it has a name you can grab onto this structure of information and use it which, which you could not do here with this first hypercube but because it has a name you can grab on to the structure this is like a handle and you can use this information but that does not change anything about the meaning that is being conveyed um, within this um, structure also notice that there are no non-core dimensions so in XPRL I didn't know this for about five or ten years uh, you can create a hypercube but the hypercube does not have to have any dimensions in it so that's actually pretty handy. It sort of seems um, useless um, when you first look at it, but there's, it's actually pretty handy. Um, it makes a debate that people have been having go away. So the second, um, or the third uh, example, here I have an explicit hypercube, the same hypercube, but now I've added one non-core dimension. So what I mean by non-core is there are three core dimensions. The reporting entity dimension, uh, axis is a synonym for dimension. Um, the concept dimension, that's what these are, line items. This is the concept dimension. And the period dimension. Those are the three core dimensions. So I've added a non-core dimension legal entity axis with this member um, and there is no I'm not using a default dimension so uh, um, or a dimension default um, so what a dimension default is is simply this you have the actual physical syntax in the experial instance and that is the only difference between having a dimension default and not having a dimension default so logically it means exactly the same thing whether it's there or not there but the way it's processed by XPRL is different whether you have a dimension default or not um, so to contrast the 
third with this one. The only difference is that this, you know, it looks exactly the same, except if you went into the definition relations, you would see that a dimension default relation has been added. Um, but it doesn't change the meaning of any of these facts. Okay, it does other things, but it does not change the meaning of the facts. Okay, number five. Okay, in this number five, we have an explicit hypercube. We added a additional members. We didn't add another dimension. Um, we just added some more members to the existing dimension. Um, where is it? Legal entity axis. Okay, so the meaning of this information does not change. Additional information was added, okay, in the red, but the green, the information has not changed at all. Um, even though you added the additional members. Okay, um, and the final We've added a second dimension, the scenario dimension, and you notice that it's the value of the dimension is actual. So in all the other prior examples, we are implying that the value of the scenario axis is actual, but here we're explicitly stating that it is actual, but that does not change the meaning of this um, information or any of the prior versions. All of them were intended to be actual. Here, you're simply being explicit and making that available in the representation. So I'm gonna call this good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this good.